cat owners, we all want to provide the best for our beloved companions, but did you know that some of the things we do in the name of love may harm them? This video will uncover the truth behind common mistakes cat owners make and provide tips to ensure your cat has the best life possible. To start, only let your cat outside with proper supervision. Cats can get lost, injured, or even killed if they are allowed to roam freely. For example, cats can get lost if they wander too far away from home and may not be able to find their way back, which can lead to them ending up in a dangerous situation. Cats can be injured by cars, wild animals, or other hazards if they can roam freely. Other animals may also attack them if they wander into unfamiliar territory. Furthermore, predators can kill cats if they are not supervised and can also be at risk for disease if they are allowed to roam freely. To ensure your cat's safety, it's recommended to use a leash or a harness when walking your cat or to let your cat outside in an enclosed area like a catio or a securely fenced yard. Also, make sure your cat has proper identification, like a collar with a tag or a microchip, so that if they do get lost, they can be returned to you quickly. When it comes to training your cat, avoid punishment-based methods. Positive reinforcement is a more effective and humane way to train your cat. It is not recommended to use punishment-based training methods on your cat. These methods involve using negative consequences, such as scolding, hitting, or withholding rewards, to discourage unwanted behaviors. These methods can be harmful to cats, both physically and emotionally. Cats can become fearful or anxious, leading to further behavioral problems. Positive reinforcement is a more effective and humane way to train your cat. This method involves rewarding your cat for desired behaviors, such as using treats, praise, or toys. This method encourages your cat to repeat the desired behavior and strengthens the bond between you and your cat. Cats are naturally independent and may not always respond to training the same way as dogs or other animals. Be patient and persistent when training your cat. Sometimes cats can get fleas, and when they do, you should never use flea and tick treatments that are not specifically made for cats. Using treatments that are not safe for cats can be dangerous and even fatal. Please read the label carefully and check that the treatment is specifically labeled for cats before using it. It's recommended to consult with your veterinarian before using any flea or tick treatment on your cat. Cats need love, affection, and attention to thrive, so do not ignore your cat's emotional needs. Providing your cat with regular affection, such as petting, grooming, and playing can help to strengthen the bond between you and your cat and can also help to reduce stress and anxiety. Cats also appreciate a safe and comfortable living environment with plenty of opportunities for exploration and play. Cats also have the instinct to hunt and explore. Providing them with interactive toys and scratching posts can keep them mentally and physically stimulated. Remember to give the cats a safe space to retreat to, like a cozy bed or a hiding place, where they can retreat when they feel threatened or stressed. Cats are independent animals and may not always want your attention or affection. Do not force your cat to interact with other animals or people if they are uncomfortable. Cats should be allowed to make their own choices about social interactions. Forcing your cat to interact with other animals or people if they are not comfortable can be stressful and even traumatic for them. Cats are individuals with their personalities and temperaments, and not all cats enjoy social interactions with other animals or people. If your cat seems nervous or uncomfortable around other animals or people, it's best to give them space and avoid forcing them into a situation where they feel uncomfortable. Cats are prey animals and may be more sensitive to loud noises, sudden movements, and unfamiliar scents. Cats are social animals and thrive on interaction with their owners, so you shouldn't leave your cat alone for long periods. They need the companionship and attention of their human family members to be happy and healthy. Leaving a cat alone for long periods can lead to feelings of isolation, boredom, and depression. Cats alone for extended periods may develop behavioral problems such as destructive behavior, excessive vocalization, and inappropriate elimination. These issues can be challenging to reverse and can cause distress for both the cat and the owner. If you are going to be away from your home for an extended period, it's best to make arrangements for someone to check on your cat or to take them to a cat boarding facility where it will receive proper care. Do not declaw your cat. Declawing is a painful and unnecessary procedure that can lead to long-term health problems. Declawing can also harm the cat's physical and mental well-being, as cats use their claws for various activities such as hunting, climbing, and self-defense. Declawing can lead to increased feelings of vulnerability and decreased physical abilities, which can cause anxiety, depression, and behavioral issues. 
Instead of declawing, cat owners can opt for alternatives such as providing scratching posts, regular claw trimming, and using soft claws, which are a humane way to protect furniture and other household items. Cats are social animals that need love, affection, and attention to thrive. Always opt for humane alternatives such as providing scratching posts, regular claw trimming, and using soft claws. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Check out our other videos for more cat-related content that you'll like. Thanks for watching.